I'm Chung Wei, the project manager for Heritage Celebrations. This year is Eat Right, it's basically ritual foods of Georgetown. It's not street food. We have different types of ritual foods from different races, multi-racial uh, festival food. Make it yourself, DIY. The communities themselves will actually demonstrate how this festival food is being presented. And by observing, you can learn step by step how to make this type of festival food. For example, Nobu Ganji is basically a porridge that they make for people to break fast. So I think it has more than 30 ingredients and quite a number of spices as well. And it takes about three, three hours just to make that porridge. Besides cooking demonstration and cooking workshop, we actually have a cooking classes you can join in for like a, a more complete classes. We also have public talks to tell people about the different communities or different races of what is their ritual food. Interactive games where people can actually take up one bottle and smell it. Mm, what kind of spice is that? Of course, Penang is famous for its street food like nasi kanda or our roja or our laksa. But street food aside, in Georgetown itself, almost every day there is some sort of a, a community fest, uh, celebrations going on. And because of that, of course, um, any celebration it, it, it will be incomplete without food. That's why I would say uh, Georgetown is quite rich in that sense that you, you have different communities, you have different type of cultures, you have mixtures of cultures and food and languages and people. I like the idea of people coming together, eat together and share, the, the whole idea of sharing. For non-Muslim like me, to be able to go into the mosque and try the Ubo Lambo, to me that is a very caring, I like the, the idea of sharing our different cultures with, with different people. Thank you. This film was made possible by a grant from Think City. Team 108 from Singapore generously provided a Sanquin microphone, Genlex speakers, and a Fireface interface for the post production. And Canon Malaysia provided a 5,000 lumen projector to make it possible to screen the films throughout Georgetown during the Georgetown Festival. You can find out more at www.oxley.com.